So some time ago I saw the movie Twilight, and in Twilight, the pasty vampire in one scene drove this Volvo hatchback. And I remember being like, that's good product placement. I would have never thought of this car, and now I think I have a soft spot for it. So finally today, I was able to bring one home. This is a 2008 Volvo C30 R spec. It is a six speed manual transmission. I believe they all came with the same engine and the R spec was just the design package, maybe nicer wheels, little side skirts, the little uh, spoiler on the back of the hatchback. But this is a, uh, a pretty good looking little hatchback. I just drove it a little bit today for a test drive around the block of the owner's neighborhood. And, you know, it was, I was impressed so far. So good. Um, so normally what I'll do when I bring a car home is run it over to get it Maryland inspected and see if it needs anything mechanically. And after that, I will have a detailer take a look at it. It's not cosmetically perfect, but it's pretty clean. It has um, a little fender bender on the front, this little skirt that hangs down. So we've got something there. Um, but I think it's a nice looking car. And of course, with the manual transmission, that makes it more desirable for me and other people who are of a certain era and age and automobile addiction so it's got some uh, little nice interior with the uh, two-tone leather looks like it took some some wear on the seat but good enough for government work six-speed manual transmission bike rack that is in somewhat of a state of disrepair due to somebody messing with it and breaking these parts off. But I think it's a good looking car. I think it'll clean up well and I'll get a video when it's all cleaned up and when I know the uh, mechanical state of affairs. But for now, feeling pretty happy to have it in my driveway. It's only got 108,000 miles. It was a city car, so sparingly used. The previous owner was sometimes a bike commuter, mostly a bike commuter. So maybe toward the end of this car's life, the last five or 10 years of it was only doing about 2,000 or 2,500 miles a year on the car. So I will report back once I've had a chance to drive it more.